expected to have the director, George Tennant, not him, maybe some of the other big wigs. And when it came in, it was mid-level, maybe 20 mid-level analysts. So we went into a room, and they started rolling out satellite pictures and different things. And what I could tell from the briefing was that they were not convinced this was emphatic evidence that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. You could just tell from their body language. They'd roll up the satellite picture on the table and kind of shuffle a little bit. And I, I'm not a, a great surveillance analyst. I didn't know what I'm looking at, a bunch of grainy pictures from some satellites. What the heck is that? Then they handed me a aluminum tube and said, we intercepted this. This is how you centrifuge uranium. And so we got it from Saddam Hussein. And I'm looking at this tube going, I could go down to Mancini at my local hardware store and buy this tube. <laughs> so that all combined together, no George Tennant, no big level people come I'm a senator, I got a vote on this in two weeks. Come on, guys, show up. This is big, we're going to war. No, some mid level people shuffling away, going, yeah, there's really nothing here. Uh, and the fact that uh, there was no convincing evidence. I came back to my colleagues and said, I was just at the CIA. We're going to war. you got to go down there and see what they have. And they're all going, uh, wait, the train's left the station. What? The train has not left the station. You can stop this. Uh, so it, it's a tragedy, a big American tragedy. We pay the consequences today. And, and lost lives, lost American credibility, generation of veterans. Uh, I've been to Walter Reed, believe me. These are kids. It's not. It's, it's very sad. <coughs> so, Senator Lightly, uh, 